Welcome to the Martini Henry. Some YouTubers call this the God Gun. Some say it's even better than the Knockout. Today, you are going to find out. The Martini Henry was a breech-loading, single-shot, lever-actuated rifle used by the British Army. It first entered service in 1871 and it was eventually replaced by the Snyder Enfield. Martini Henry variants were used throughout the British Empire for approximately 30 years. It was developed by a Swiss guy called Friedrich von Martini and by a Scotsman, Alexander Henry. Hence the name Martini Henry. Sorry for all the guys who thought it was about the alcohol. A few years ago, the United States Marines recovered a few of them from various Taliban weapon caches and another one was found by the United States Army's 101st Airborne Division. Apparently some guys think it's still a good idea to use them. Now what do you have to do to get your hands on one of those in Battlefield 1? The first thing that you need to do is to reach level 10 of the Scout class. This is very easy and it shouldn't take you very long to do that. By now, you will also have an extra 200 war bonds lying around, so that you can unlock the Martini Henry. The first thing that you should do is to modify your new weapon. You can change the standard iron sight into radium sights and you can adjust the magnification. For most people, 2 times magnification works best. If you want to make some brutal kills, then attach a bayonet. But keep in mind that it has a small negative impact on your gun. Unfortunately, there is no scope and this will make this gun a lot harder to use. Okay, so now you are ready to go. You will find yourself on the battlefield with your shiny new weapon, but now what? I will tell you everything that you need to know. Let's start with these statistics. From 0 to 20 meters, you will do 90 damage. From this point, the damage goes up and at 30 meters, you can kill your enemy with only one shot. This is where the sweet spot starts. It ends at 80 meters and after that it will eventually drop to 70 damage. This means that you can one shot kill everything and everyone who is between 30 and 80 meters away from you. Outside of this range you will need two bullets to kill, except for a headshot. A better and faster option is to shoot your enemy once and then to finish him off with your handgun if he is close enough. The only problem is that it will only fire 38 rounds per minute and then it takes forever to reload. So you better make sure that you don't miss. It really pays off for this gun to take those few extra moments to adjust your aim so that you are 100% sure that you will hit your enemy. The muzzle velocity is only 440 meters per second. Normally this is a big deal for any sniper rifle but this doesn't affect you that much when you're using the Martini Henry. I'm sure that you are not one of those guys who want to get a one shot kill from 500 meters away with an iron sight. So don't worry too much about the muzzle velocity. Just know that it's slightly slower than the other sniper rifles. Most of your victims will be close enough so that it won't matter that much. Like all other sniper rifles in Battlefield 1, it has a bullet drop of 12 meters per second squared and the Martini Henry has a magazine size of um, 1. I mean, really? Is that a joke? Just one bullet? So every time that you fire one bullet, you will get the pleasure of watching that awesome 2.5 second reload animation. Don't you love that? Try not to put yourself in a position where you are less than 30 meters away from your enemy. This is outside of your sweet spot and you are now getting closer and closer to the distance that does maximum damage for all the other guns in Battlefield. If you get closer than 30 meters, you are putting yourself at a disadvantage. You can still shoot him and cause 90 damage so that you can finish him off with your secondary, but if you miss, you might be in trouble. Another free tip. Now that I'm speaking about the secondaries, I didn't review them yet, so I can't tell you 100% for sure which one is the best one, but so far I've been pretty happy about the performance of the M1911. It's a very good idea to start off with this handgun. The iron sights might take some time getting used to. A few months ago, when I was preparing for the release of Battlefield 1, I started playing Battlefield 4 again. But this time, I was only playing with iron sights. So no coyote, no cobra, no reflex, no nothing. This made the transition to Battlefield 1 very smooth. The only problem with the Martini Henry is that I never played Battlefield 4 with a sniper rifle with only an iron sight. Because it just didn't make sense. I mean, why would you do that? Well, I guess the reason for that is the Martini Henry. So don't get disappointed after you've missed your first shots. It just takes some time getting used to this gun, even for the more experienced snipers amongst us. Oh, and if you were wondering, yes, you can no scope your enemy even with a gas mask on. By the way guys, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. 
If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies? This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield. Machine gun, not